Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today I have a fun look at a plant that is, I'm not sure if it's new this year, but it's definitely new to me. I saw a post on my local nursery's Facebook page a few days ago saying, have you heard of the Ever Twilight Agapanthus? Now, of course, I have Agapanthus in my garden. I have three original blue ones. Um, that my mama gave me. They're divisions from one of her agapanthus. If you've not heard of agapanthus, which I'm sure a lot of you have, they are a spring blooming flower. They grow with this kind of daylily-like foliage at the bottom. It's long and green. Um, and the foliage will stay almost all season. Unless you have a really hard freeze, it will even stay through the winter in our zone, which is lower Alabama 8B. Um, but in the springtime, it shoots off these really tall 30 to 40 inch high bloom stalks with blue or white um, flowers on them. They look kind of like alliums or what my mom says is they look like fireworks. So unlike alliums, which are a tight, um, tidy ball, agapanthus has long slender flowers. Uh, almost like salvia, just all grouped in a cluster. I will put some pictures up here of a traditional like blue agapanthus, white agapanthus. So while I do love my traditional blue agapanthus, they only bloom in the spring. So like foxglove or alliums, they come up once, they have a beautiful spring show, and then the rest of the season, it is just this fun um, textural foliage. So the interesting part about the Ever Twilight Agapanthus from Southern Living that caught my eye on that Facebook post is that it stays in bloom all year. So spring, summer, through fall, when you get your first frost. So supposedly, and I have no reason not to trust this, it will bloom for us all season, not just in the spring, but spring, summer, and fall. So. I did not go to my local nursery to pick this up. I went for some other things, but I was very intrigued by that Facebook post. So I went and searched it out and sure enough, it says it can take part sun. So part sun, part shade, 16 by 18 high by 16 by 18 wide. And it goes down to 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit in zones eight through 11. And it blooms by color white and violet blooms on 24 to 30 inch stalks. So the foliage itself will get about 16 to 18, but the bloom stalks will tower over that up to 30 feet tall, spring to fall. And I will put close ups of this. You're probably looking at them right now. <coughs> and so that is, I mean, that's all the information, informational things that you need, but, um, I'm very excited about this. They were on the pricey side and I don't know if that was just my nursery or if it was the plant, but you know, for a perennial plant that will flower all season, worth it. <laughs> but that's why I only have one. I typically like to buy plants in groups of three. I have three of the blue agapanthus. We just got one. Since it is a perennial, there are one, two, three little um, bloom stalks in here. If you really wanted to separate them, you could try that, but they are quite close together and this front one and the side one are rather small. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to plant it as one plant. And then in a year or two, maybe three, it'll, we'll see how long this takes to get bigger. We can always divide it down the road to add it further into the garden if we want to. So for now, we're going to go ahead and plant it. I'm going to plant it right over here, kind of mid border. That way it can tower over these front layers, but still be seen from the back layers. And as you can see, it does get a good mix of sun in the morning and shade in the afternoon in this half of the garden bed, which is what Agapanthus likes. So let's go little guy. As you can see, the one I picked already has a bloom stock going. So hoping if we fertilize them and give them some water to start off with, 
he will bloom for us soon. All right, so I'm going to take this little guy and I'm going to pop him right back here. You can see I have foxgloves growing here. I have iris. I have some glads. There's another, well, I don't know if you can see my finger. Foxglove, iris, another foxglove, some glads. So I think he will be a really fun mix. I want kind of the back of my border to be these tall bloom stalks all popping up, happy as little clams. That is the goal. So I think he will fit in really nicely there. Now I thought about putting them further back because there's a good spot kind of in between the Laura Pedlum, which are these burgundy bushes, but I don't really want him to fight his way through the Laura Pedlum. So I'm going to put him up here and see how he does. I'm just trying not to uh, step on anything important while I'm here. Right here is where I want him. Had a whole bunch of tulips back here at the beginning of the season. This dirt is very well worked and I still have a few bulbs down here so I'm not going to use my auger. Don't want to disturb anything. If you're using a shovel and you find a tulip bulb you know you can just kind of pop it out and then replant it. All right let's see if that's deep enough. Perfect. Oh, this guy has nice roots. Look at that. So, I'm going to plant him right like this. Perfect. And I am going to go ahead and leave this in. We'll put it kind of tuck it in the back here just in case we need it didn't find any tulip bulbs these might be ones i already pulled up i pulled up half the bulbs and i left half Excuse my feet for just a second. I gotta get a little closer. There we go. Ta-da! Water him in, but you can see we've got those two baby foxgloves. A foxglove from last year that this will be its second year. It will be much bigger. Our new agavanthus. We've got some iris that will bloom and gladioli that will bloom. So hopefully that will be a whole mix of really fun tall things for the back of the border. I'm going to go grab a hose and water him in and we'll give him a, you know, give him a little bit to get acclimated. If that bloom stock does bloom uh, within, within the week or so, I will get some footage for you. If not, it will be in my May garden tour. 
I am very excited about this. An agapanthus that will bloom spring, summer, and fall sounds amazing. I was telling my mom about it and she was like, oh my God, go back and get me some. So my brother and I are going to the new Mario movie this afternoon and we are tasked to retrieve two more of these for my mom. So cross your fingers that they still have some. And if so, you will have more blooms to see because she will have two in her garden. Either way, I'm going to go ahead. I've got a whole summer planter on my porch right here to plant. I'm going to go take care of that and I will see y'all in the next video. If you would like to check out the video where mom and I divided her agapanthus and planted the divisions in my garden, they are right here. I will link to that video below. It's actually the video where we made, created this entire garden bed and started it with divisions from mom's garden. So we divided the agapanthus, an oak leaf hydrangea, a crepe myrtle tree, all kinds of fun stuff. Check it out. Say bye, Biddy.